Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to format your external hard drive using the new OS Sierra. So that's what we're at right now. So this is MacBook Sierra. Okay, the latest version. So let's just go right into our disk utility. So to find your disk utility, just go to your spotlight search. It's the easiest way. So just click up there. You guys will see this and just type in disk utility. So once you guys see that, looks like this just open it up and you guys will see this so this is your internal and these are your external hard drives okay so what we're going to be touching is your external hard drives right now i have one that's connected but i turned it off so that's why it's like this and then i have another one that's plugged in so that's the seagate one no matter what brand you guys have it's the exact same thing so formatting means you're erasing everything from it it means you're deleting everything that's within that external hard drive so just be aware of that if you guys have any information there just back it up somewhere else for now we're going to erase everything within it and make it work for mac pc and also i'm going to show you how to format it so it works with time machine which some of you may or may not know what it is and the fact that you can use that with mac is really really good so i highly recommend it so let's just uh do this right now so let's just erase it and once you click on erase you guys will see these options and you guys will see this that comes out first all right and here for sure pick this option okay um the reason i don't go with this this mostly guided towards windows and even if we're formatting for windows and mac you guys probably don't want that okay um just because what well, i'm going to teach you later on so let's just go through this if you guys pick this it's only going to be available for mac so if you plug it in we click erase erase it it formats only for mac this is it if you connect this up to your pc all right a windows computer it's not going to work it's it just won't read it um so if you want to transfer files between a mac and pc this is not the way to go this is only if you wanted to use it for mac for pc you guys want this for sure and not this this um will just make a mess the reason you guys have an extra hard drive is because you have more than 32 gigs so this does not make sense at all anymore um this is the way to go usually so let's just go for xfat um same type of partition and uh, this is actually for most of you most of you want to transfer information between mac and pc so you guys will just um, format it as so you guys can put a different name um, you guys can change the name later on without formatting it so don't worry about it I would just click erase and it does it if you guys get an error like so don't worry about it just click on erase again pick the option that you want it so you click the xfat partition erase and then it's just gonna do it now why does that error come up well it depends if you guys are using a hub like me sometimes you could get that error um and there's just a bunch of other um reasons why that could happen but if you do it again it should be working um i've been seeing that a lot of people since the update with sierra have been getting those errors so it could be a Sierra thing for now that's what it works you guys are pretty much done at this point you guys could just open it up so right now it's here it's untitled so if i double click on it i can just drag and drop any of my files here and then i have my copy and that's how you use an external hard drive so really quick and easy tutorial right i'm just going to delete this from now so that's command delete and remember when you're deleting stuff your external hard drive always empty your trash if you don't if you plug this into a pc for example you can kind of still see the folder there or the file there i should say so make sure to trash your bin when you're erasing stuff and deleting off from your external hard drive or even usb sticks it's the same thing so that's a quick tip so let's just go back to this um just gonna close my finder and let's just go back to this utility i want to teach you guys a few more things before you go off um something really good to use is your time machine time machine will back up your entire computer and uh, that way you guys don't have to drag and drop files onto this to back them up it's just going to back up everything everything from your apps uh to your email to um everything 
and I literally mean everything and uh, if you ever lose a file you can always go back in time machine and then just grab that file and bring it back into here and I think that's why they call it time machine right so let's just uh, click on erase again and I'm going to teach you guys how to do that so the first thing that we have to do is actually format it for Mac that doesn't mean that we're just going to make it work for Mac by the way we're going to make this work for PC as well so let's just click on erase again if you guys keep getting that error don't worry about it erase it again just pick the same settings and there we go it's gonna work so we're just waiting for this um how long does this take well it depends how big your external hard drive is and how fast it is as well some are just uh, usb 2.0 still and there's other 3.0 those are way faster usually but uh again depends what brand you guys have so let's just click OK, and then we're going to partition this. So right now it's only working for Mac, by the way, and we're going to make this work for Mac, PC, and Time Machine. So we're going to go into partition. Partition's the best thing that you can do with an external hard drive. Um, so we're going to make three parts. So let's just click on the plus sign. One, two, three. So there you go. And instead of typing in the number that you want if you want 500 gigs i suggest clicking so these are the partitions right so there's one two and three so let's just click on this one and we want this one to be our main time machine that's going to back up our whole mac so we're going to make that 500 you guys can make it whatever you guys want as long as you make it big enough so if you have an external if, if you have like a lot of files in your mac and it's like 200 gigs then 500 is pretty good if um, you guys have a terabyte, then obviously make it more than a terabyte, right? So right now I'm just keeping it at 500, so that's good for me. And I'm going to call this time machine. Uh, you guys can call it whatever. You guys can even call this backup. It's just so I know that's for my time machine. And then I can just click right here and drag this up to... Let's make it about 100. And let's just call this PC. Because this, I'm going to make it make for PC. So this is what I'm going to use to transfer files from PC and Mac, okay, and back and forth. So I'm going to choose XFAT, and that's what you guys want to choose when you want to work with PC and Mac. And then this one I just want for Mac. So I'm going to call this a backup Mac. Um, and I just want this to work for Mac, so this is the way to go. Um, do I need to teach you anything else here? No. So. Once you guys have this, that, that set up, you're done. You guys can just apply it and back it up. So right now it's cutting my external hard drive into three parts. So if you plug this into a Windows uh, computer, you guys will not see Time Machine. You guys will not see Backup Mac. You guys will only see the PC portion of it. And that's good because we all know PCs have a lot of viruses out there. So I think it's good to just keep something clear just for PC. Um, and just transferring files back and forth and then one just for Mac to transfer files between Macs and then a time machine to back up your entire Mac if that's what you guys want to go for and that's what I highly recommend using your external hard drive to do so um, we just click on apply partition and we should be good so again if we get another error which are very annoying you just have to do it again um, so far, I can see that it's working. I'm not getting an error, so that's good. Um, when you're getting an error, it doesn't mean that you guys are doing anything wrong. Don't worry. You just have to do it again. It's uh, one of those Sierra glitches, um, especially with the latest o um, update that they did with the OS. It's just not the greatest. So once this is done, I can just pick done. And as you can see right here, it, it tells me, like, this is my time machine. This for my backup that I made and this is the main PC portion of it and I'm pretty much done um, right now if I go to my desktop it's where I can see all my layers so let me just put these guys here so you guys can see them and here I can see my PC time machine and backup so time machine let's talk about that um, these other guys they're just like a USB stick all you guys have to do is double click on them and then you guys can drag and drop anything to them. So if I want this video, I can just copy it. So right click on it, I can copy it or, so copy, right? Or I can just press Command C on it, Command V here. I can just drag and drop anything 
onto my external hard drive and it's gonna copy it there and there's my backup, right? Um, so let me just wait for this to load. Okay, and if I want to delete anything, again, I want to press Command Delete. And after that, you guys always, always want to trash, okay, empty your trash bin before you do anything else. So before you take this back into your PC or something like that, just empty your trash bin. So empty that trash bin, that way it's completely gone. Or else, when you plug it into PC, you can kind of still see the folder there. So watch out with that. Always empty your trash bin. Um, okay, so those are the basics. Now let's go into Time Machine. So if you guys haven't used Time Machine before, I'm not going to teach you the whole thing, but I'm going to give you a quick glance at it. I do have a video that tells you everything about Time Machine, but um, I do want to show you guys what it does. So if you guys go to System Preferences, and then you guys will go into, let's look for Time Machine. So here's Time Machine. So this little guy is Time Machine, okay? So let's just go right into there. Now I do have several Time Machines already set up and here I can see them all. Um, if this is your first time, you guys will not see anything. You guys will see this. So all we have to do is click there and then from our available disks, we can see the one that we selected and named Time Machine. And then we can just click on use disk. I'm not gonna do that right the second because I don't want to make this right now. However, once you guys do that, it's gonna get all set up and it's actually gonna turn green. Um, so that will will make it different from the others. Doesn't matter if it turns green or if it stays yellow, no, as long as it does that. And then you guys can just make your backup. And once you guys have your backup, that will back up your entire Mac. It's gonna uh, back up your apps that are installed, all your folders, all your users in your Mac, pretty much everything. So if any day this crashes for some reason, or you guys have to transfer all your information from this Mac to a new one, you guys can do that with your time machine. Uh, just connect that external hard drive to your new Mac and just restore it from there. And it's really easy. I do have a video again showing you guys how to do that. Uh, I actually have to do that several times with uh, several Macs. So I, I do have videos that show you exactly how to do that and a little bit more and more time machine. But that's the quick glimpse of how to set up time machine. I do have my time machine up here and I can just put back up now, for example. Um, but yeah, those, that's the basics of your external hard drive, how to format it. It's all within this utility. I taught you guys a little bit, tiny, a little bit about Time Machine, and that's about it. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the commentary. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.